so that you will not be confused with the applications of vectors on oblique and right triangle trigonometry. So, uh, how are these different from each other? So, I'm going to illustrate a problem which can be applied like in, in navigation. So, suppose you have a boat here and it's trying to reach a certain destination to the point here. Okay? And uh, so, this is your destination. So, the first thing we should do is to find out how far east is your destination and how far north it is. Okay, because uh, from the way it looks, this is the east direction, this is the north direction. Okay, the, des the voyage is, is going in the northeast direction. So let's say, for example, uh, this destination is about uh, 15 miles east. Okay, so it's about 15 miles east and like about uh, 17 miles Okay, 17 miles north. Okay, so it's 17 miles north. Now, uh, you wanted to find out how far are you going to travel to your destination. That kind of idea is finding the magnitude of the resultant. Okay? So, the magnitude is how long is your resultant. The resultant vector will be the coordinates of this point. Okay? So, when we talk about resultant vector, it comes in three ways. You can use uh, polar form, you can use rectangular form, or you can use complex form. So, we will use a pol uh, rectangular form for, for here because we're talking about uh, distance. So, how do we find the resultant vector? The resultant vector is the sum of these two vectors. So this is a vector and this is another vector. So why is it considered a vector? It's because uh, you, have, you have the length of this vector and you have a direction. So it's 15 miles east. Without the east, it is only a scalar. So since it's emphasized that it is going east, you know where it is, it is heading to. So, it is also a resultant by itself, whose coordinates are, of course, the x value is 15 and the y value is 0. Okay? It's because you're not moving up or down, you're only moving to the right, so the x value is 15. So, here, the coordinate of this point, the coordinates of this point is 0 and 17. It's because... You're moving vertically, but you're not going left and right. So the x value is 0 and the y value is positive 17. Now, I wanted to find out the resultant. Now, remember, resultant means uh, the sum of two vectors. So I'm going to add these two vectors. We also call it the path of our direction. So that would be 0, 17 plus 15, 0 which gives us a resultant of uh, 15 and 17. So this is now in rectangular form. So this is the resultant vector. Okay? So bear in mind that resultant vector comes in three ways. All right? Coordinates, which is uh, the rectangular form, the polar form, or the complex form. So for this, we use the rectangular form. Now let's find the magnitude. The magnitude is the distance that your boat will have to travel in order to reach the destination. So we, we, we can solve that by taking the squares of your y, x and y, which is 15 and 17, and taking the square root of it. Alright, so that would be the square root of 15 square plus 17 square. So if we're going to use the calculator, to find out, so that's uh, 15 square plus 17 square, which is 22.67. So therefore, the magnitude is 22.67 miles. So 22.67 miles. Okay? So this is now the magnitude. It's a, it's a measure of 
length. Alright, so it can be in miles, in kilometers, in centimeters. So this is miles, so it's a distance. Okay, now how do we get the direction? So the direction can be obtained by finding the angle because we know already that our our direction apart from the angle is northeast. Alright, because our our boat should come from the north going to the east direction. Okay, so we should use this triangle, not this triangle. However, your calculator will always give you this angle because the calculator reads an angle in standard position. The meaning of angle in standard position is when your angle is coming from the x-axis only, whether it's positive or negative. Okay, so how do we find that? So, first is we know that the coordinates here are 15 and 17. Okay, so it means that our x value is 17 and we have defined tangent before that it is equivalent to the inverse of y over x when finding the angle. Okay, tangent is y over x inverse tangent of y over x is the angle. So therefore, this will be the inverse tangent of our y, which is 17, and our x, which is 15. So we, we go to the calculator and solve for inverse tan of 17 over 15. And it gives us 48.58 degrees. So our direction is 48.58 degrees but in the east-north direction, okay? But that is not what we are looking for. We are looking for the northeast direction. So therefore, we will subtract this from 90 degrees. So that will be equivalent to 90 minus 48.58. The reason why it's, it's we're doing this because the, the, the calculator does not give us directly the angle from the northeast because it always reads an angle from the positive or negative x-axis. In this case, the angle that the calculator reads is coming from the positive x-axis, not from the y-axis. That is not happening in the case of any scientific calculators. So we will subtract these two values, 90 minus... 48.58 and therefore our direction is 41.42 degrees so angle is equal to 41.42 degrees in the direction northeast so therefore okay as a summary you would see that our resultant vector is 1517 that is the sum of the two vectors okay 0, 0, 17, and 15, 0. If you add them together, you will create the resultant vector 15 and 17 because uh, the definition of a resultant vector is the sum of two or more vectors. So we simply add the coordinates. The magnitude is the distance traveled or any length, okay? Of course, it is a unit of length, so it means miles, kilometers, or anything. We can get that by using the Pythagorean theorem since we are forming a right triangle in our figure and it's equivalent to the square root of x squared plus y squared. Now, of course, if the triangle that is formed in our illustration is an oblique triangle, we either make use of sine or cosine law. But in this case, we are using the Pythagorean theorem because that is a right triangle. Okay, now the direction is in the, in the angle form. And the angle that we have found is 41.42. The angle that was illustrated in the calculator is 48.58 because this is the angle in standard position, meaning to say it, it comes from the positive x-axis. So that's how your three, uh, three vocabulary are different from each other when it comes to illustrating vectors.